Hello everyone, happy Friday. I'm back today with another segment, a 10 minute section on whether essential oils are a fad, whether it's a scam, whether it's something that is trendy and why do you think of all times now you would require or need essential oils in your life? I'm Kavita, I've been a pharmacist for the past 18 years and welcome to my lunch and learn section today for a quick 10 minutes I'm going to share a little bit about why I think essential oils the purest most potent form of plant essences or plant medicine is absolutely a must to have in every household again if you have followed my journey you know that I started using essential oils and I was not a believer of essential oils because from my very limited knowledge that I had I thought that essential oils were just some hocus pocus kind of thingy and it would not help my son, my younger son who was recovering post chemotherapy and I was looking at something that was safe, something that was natural, something that is affordable, something that is pure and something that is based on science to help my son build his immune system his whole system actually his skin his breathing everything and in my quest to also reduce the toxins that we have in our home so this is how i started with essential oils and again i did not believe in them so looking into reading into research looking into the studies that have been done I found that there is actually truth to the fact that essential oils can do so much for us because like it or not from the beginning of time we as humans have always used plant as medicine am I right those days we have no pills and capsules and tinctures everything was based from what the plant could provide us right so basically these essential oils that the plant produces takes a lot of energy and of course they are producing it for themselves to protect themselves to heal themselves to communicate and these are so very versatile number one and so very healing so here we are deriving mother nature's medicine essence to help us right so when we start using essential oils i mean why do we want to use do we really need it in this current modern era but looking at modernization there are lots of issues that have cropped up and i think you may be able to relate to some of them the immune system we find that we are not having a robust immune system like how we did those days I remember growing up those days we never had all these uh, dangerous viruses around us and they have also evolved just like us and here we are being challenged how is the immune system going to respond now when we are together with the viruses with the bacteria with the fungi in this world there is a delicate balance and of course we want to also survive they also want to survive right number two we look at the skyrocketing amount of stress that we have these days unmanaged stress the inability to get that restful deep sleep how many of you actually have deep sleep every night meaning you get to bed you fall asleep within 30 minutes of your head on the pillow you sleep through the night or you wake up just once and then finally when you get up in the morning you feel full of energy you feel alive instead of i'm so tired i feel like i did not sleep i had so many thoughts running in my mind would you relate to that sleep is another issue that we face we also face a lot of nasties a lot of toxins that are seeping through our door in the products that we're using be it the cleaners be it the facial products be it the personal care products even the artificial fragrances you know a lot of homes these days we all of course want our homes to smell good but at what expense are we doing it all these fragrances 
these are synthetics that are coming into our home knowingly and unknowingly and causing a huge amount of body burden on ourselves. Here we have a body, a physical body that's trying every night to repair, to regenerate, to detoxify, to keep it as healthy as possible and to sustain that homeostasis, we call it that balance. And there you are continuously exposing yourself with all these chemical byproducts, not to mention the food that we eat and of course the outdoor air, right? Those are beyond our control. Outdoor air we cannot control. But what about the quality of the indoor air? It's within your control. So you decide what you bring in, right? So when you come into contact with essential oils, we know that they work beautifully and to be able to support us in different levels be it the physical well-being that I noticed and I experienced with my son and my, for my family, the mental, the emotional well-being, this is an absolutely amazing tool to have. But a lot of people feel like, you know, I don't know how to use these things. It's daunting. It's something new. And of course, when something is new, can we, feel, we feel scared. We feel uh, nervous, right? So this is why when you start your journey, using essential oils in your home it is always good to have someone who has had that experience that knowledge that team to guide you to support you and to walk you through what you want to achieve for your family you know every family we have different aims you know for your family it would be probably to support stress for you and your spouse it could probably mean supporting the immune system immune system is always ongoing right we always have so many things around us uh, so that one is a must-have maybe for you it's supporting managing the stress or supporting hormone balancing because that is off you know off balance for a lot of women these days it can look different for every family but when we look at the basics we know that every mom, including me, I want my children to be healthy, frankly. For me, when my children are unwell, it is not so much of, you know, forking out money to see a physician, but it's the heartache to see them unwell. If you're a mom, you would know what that feels like. And a lot of times when your child is not well, you also don't sleep well because you are just anxious. You want to make sure that they are well, they are healthy, even more during the pandemic as we start going out and they are going back to school as well. So again, when I started using essential oils seven years ago, reading and researching, if you're into science, you may want to go to PubMed. I realized that these benefits are only there. You can only derive it with the purest oil. And again, the essential oil industry is not governed by anyone so when you buy a bottle of essential oils out there everyone says it's pure but do they justify it are they able to show you proof that it's pure this is a question that was in my mind when i started using so again coming back to doTERRA oils why i use doTERRA Number one, it's because of the purity and the potency. Again, purity, you want to have a test to prove it. So with doTERRA oils, all you have to do for the single oils, you just look at the base of the bottle. There will be a seven-digit batch number there. So conveniently, go to www.sourcetoyou.com. You can key in the seven-digit batch number. This will give you a GCMS test result. Guess chromatography mass spectrometry this is a very basic test that all essential oil companies should have and you should be able to view it because you as a consumer have to have the right to know that you are paying for a pure bottle of essential oil it is your right is whether you want to use it or not right and this gcms test is just one of the tests out of 40 over tests that doTERRA does for every batch of essential oil and again, this test is third party, it's done by APRC, which is like a, a third party um, lab test that does this test for all the companies that if you want to send, you send. It's like CRIM, you know, it's a third party uh, testing center 
but this one only does for essential oils so again this is why purity is very important transparency in testing is very important because when you use oils that are not tested to be pure they do not have a gcms test result or they have a test result but they say i cannot show you then we do not know for sure number one whether it's pure because it could be adulterated with synthetic fragrances that smell alike and again you and i we are not essential oil expert just by smelling the bottle we don't know whether it's fake whether it's real whether it's adulterated whether it's diluted we don't know and frankly for me i didn't want to gamble the health of my family not knowing that i needed that peace of mind right so when you want to use essential oils please make sure that you are using whichever company that you buy from is able to give you that gcms test result i also love the fact that doTERRA is the only company that is very much a science-based company they study the pharmacokinetics of how these oils work in the body and as a pharmacist this is all the science tech stuff that i love to read into because it shows me for sure why the oils work the way they do because we don't buy things based on testimonials we want to know exactly how it works in the body and science is catching up with what mother nature has always been providing for us and for me that is very exciting and lavender essential oil just last month if i'm not mistaken they have been given a new grading it's called pharmaceutical grade doTERRA lavender so we know that this is the purest lavender essential oil you can get and again when you use lavender essential oil for the first time it may not even smell like what you think lavender is uh, this is something to experience which i have personally when i started seven years ago so now quickly we i'm going to share with you how you can use essential oils on a daily basis actually it's very easy uh, when you first start of course you feel like you don't know what you're doing and that's why it's always good to have someone to guide you so that you can do it effortlessly after a couple of times okay it's just like when you start cooking a new recipe kan? so at the beginning maybe you feel a bit awkward but after that it's like ah i just know this recipe by heart right now okay that's it all right so the first way of using it of course being an essential oil it's volatile compound we want to smell it because we get the benefits to support our emotions we talk about having those happy feelings reducing the anxious emotions supporting focus energy at this time when we have been home for so long and we know that stress is all time high kan? so we want to be able to support those issues as well you may want to just open up and inhale the bottle under your nose of course i always recommend getting a diffuser this is a diffuser it's a doTERRA diffuser um, a diffuser is basically a gadget like this and you just fill up with water for a standard size room i always recommend about four drops of essential oil only not a lot nah. with doTERRA oils because they are pure and they are potent you only need about four drops for a standard size room about 330 square feet or so about there right not a lot okay not uh, for doTERRA oils less is more that's what i always say and as you diffuse it very safely switch it on of course you have uh, the vapor coming out you'd be able to support everyone's wellness in one room a lot of times i like to diffuse oils in the living space because that's where my two boys are as well with my in-laws so i this morning i was diffusing clarify i'm not sure if many of you are familiar with that blend that's a beautiful blend with wild orange so this is basically to clear the air to purify the air to support the immune system and of course keep everyone happy and joyous since we are all home as as it is kan? at the same time when you diffuse essential oils it can also be a really uh, easy way to support yourself to have restful sleep okay this is another topic for another day but basically diffusion is the easiest on a personal note if you want to just have a quick one for yourself all you have to do like now is like 12 something kan? you feel a bit tired or you're going out to pick your children up from school you want to have some extra focus 
you just need to put one drop on your palm just tilt and one drop will come out rub your palms together close your eyes and you can cup your nose and your mouth you can put it at a distance or you can put it nearer inhale and exhale for about one minute it's a beautiful menthol kind of aroma that goes into your nose and it oxygenates your brain and frankly it wakes you up as well after after a heavy meal on, on a Friday as well so you can just add some carrier oil okay when we apply on our skin we use a carrier oil so that the essential oils can go in deeper when we have some tension at the neck or the wrist these days with all the gadgets that we use you can use this very easily that's the second way of using which is to apply on your skin when you use essential oils pure oils always dilute with a carrier oil with doTERRA we use the fractionated coconut oil this is not greasy it does not have the coconut smell the function of the carrier oil is basically to carry the essential oil into your system because they are volatile they basically escape very fast lah. so it's a waste of money kan? when you want to use something like this make sure you use it correctly so that you derive at least 90 percent of the benefit number two is to reduce any form of irritation because these oils are very pure it can cause irritation sensitivity itch if you keep using them without dilution so it's very important to always to be safe always dilute your oils dilution does not make it less potent remember that it's the safest way it's the economic way and it is the correct way of using i always emphasize on dilution okay even though it may take a bit of time but it's worth it the third way of using is to consume the essential oil just because it's from nature does not mean that all essential oils are safe to be consumed again this needs to be guided and therefore don't simply take the essential oil and makan sahaja begitu it's not supposed to be that way because there are ways to consume the essential oil safely if you feel that you require extra support for your health at that point in time it is not a must to consume the essential oil because by diffusion and by application you will still derive the benefits as well again i always look at my bottles of essential oil like medicine you know a lot of times people just say oh it's just a bottle of oil well this bottle of oil is actually very powerful and it can do a lot for your home for your body for your wellness and at the same time if you misuse it it can also cause a lot of issues therefore i always recommend using using these oils and keeping them at a place that your children will not be able to reach to take out to open and to just pour out please remember that to keep it at a far uh, as far as high as possible especially from young children and when you purchase these essential oils i know i have i receive a lot of people messaging me said uh, Kavita I bought this oil from someone and then when I ask them how to use they ask me to google so for me it's like you walking into the pharmacy I'm a pharmacist and I'm selling you a medicine and I tell you uh, this is the medicine you wanted you go home and google how to use it how would you feel <laughs> well that's how I feel when people tell me I bought a bottle of peppermint essential oil or lavender essential oil and I've been told to google how to use it especially when these are not meant to be googled up because when you google there is so many things that come up on the world wide web but what is it that is required for you and how to settle that particular issue is something that needs to be guided needs you need to have a reference or someone to guide you and this is why when we purchase essential oils always purchase from someone who is going to guide you to use it not just sell you a bottle of essential oil or get a kit of essential oil and then tell you you go and google how to use this is not the right way okay so it's really up to you to decide how you want to maximize your essential oils uh, simpan dekat tv i don't recommend simpan dekat tv actually because sometimes our tv is 
hot eh? it has got some heat kan so kalau boleh tu simpanlah dekat tempat yang you know far away from those electrical points yang uh, panas and so on right even if some of us we use essential oil in the kitchen i tak galakkan letak dekat tepi oven atau dekat tepi our 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 stove because it's hot and all these oils they are actually sensitive to heat so you can put it probably at a cupboard area somewhere further from the source of heat and that is why also bila kita pakai essential oil kita pakai dalam diffuser we use diffuser kita tak pakai lilin dengan uh, burner candle and burner is not recommended for doTERRA because the heat can change the chemistry of the oil and that is something we don't want right So this is my actually it's extended ah it's already 20 minutes session on why I think pure essential oils like doTERRA they are not a fad and they are not a scam and it's not something that you just jump into the bandwagon where everybody is using it's not a trend this is something that you seriously need to look into if you want to continue to be proactive in taking care of your family wellness in the sense of cleansing in the sense of preserver preserving your mental well-being and also to keep that immune system robust no matter what happens in this world that we are going through and tonight if you are keen to join my group my team member is hosting a session tonight at 9 p.m. the top 10 doTERRA essential oils and why you should have them in your home we're going to guide you on how to use it as well if you're keen to attend it's a free session it's about 45 minutes you can please connect with me and i will share the zoom link with you tonight at 9 p.m. until i see you again next friday with another lunch and learn topic I hope that uh, my session today was useful. If you are keen to know more about essential oils, please free, feel free to connect with me. Until I see you again next week. Have a restful weekend everyone. Bye.